Hello, Buns, and welcome back to Cinnabun Sundays, a weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny. So today's video is all about how to spend time and bond with your rabbits. Specifically, I'm going to be giving you guys five different tips of ways that you can hang out and play with your bunny. I think a big thing for a lot of people is they expect all pets to act like dogs. And I don't know if you've noticed, but she is, um, she's a bunny. She's not a dog. And they have totally different personalities. Rabbits are prey animals, which means that their initial response to everything is to be a little bit more timid and a little more shy. But as you can see, she's all over me and she's super sweet. It's just kind of learning how to engage with your bunny and then you can have a really wonderful bond and spend so much time together. So maybe instead of playing fetch and going on walks, you're doing different activities, but I promise you there are ways to engage and play with your bunny and I am gonna tell you all of those today, right now. So my first activity is for you just to lay on the floor with your bunny. And I know that that might seem not super fun, but seriously, just get a book, maybe watch some YouTube, maybe watch a movie, whatever. Bring your laptop, bring your iPad, whatever, and just bring it down to the floor. Because bunnies are prey animals, they are intimidated by big, scary things towering over them. Think like a hawk that could come and swoop down and grab your little bun. So if you can just get down onto their level and spend time down there, I promise you very soon your bunny is going to be hopping right up to you, maybe kissing your face, and it just turns into a really fun just like spending time together. Now as we know there is no better way to a bunny's heart than by their stomach. So my next tip for you is to spend time feeding them and I mean hand feeding. So during their breakfast, during their dinners, instead of just giving them their food in a bowl, try giving your bunny food out of your hand. You can kind of turn it into a trick building activity, but if you practice hand feeding your bunny, not only are they going to spend a lot more time with you, but they're gonna start associating you with their favorite thing, which is meal time. This is like the best way to build a really quick bond with your bunny, just teaching them, hey, I am the provider of your food, so while they're having meal time, you can engage with them, you can get them to sit in your lap and really spend that special time together and really working on your bond as well. So this next one I just hinted at, but that is teaching your bunnies tricks. That is right, dogs are not the only animals out there that can learn tricks. Cinnabon knows quite a few right now. She knows how to walk, she knows perch, she knows spin, she knows high five, she knows snoot. So she knows quite a few. If you're interested in learning how to teach your bunny to do tricks, give us a comment below. I would love to do a video about that. But for starters, you can work on the simple ones, which are just teaching your bunny to spin by having them chase a treat in a circle and teaching them to perch in your hand by putting a treat in your hand and having them put their paws right on your hands. Hey. Hey. Cinema, what the hell are you doing? She is like all up into everything. My next tip is to have Zoomy and Binky playtime. That is right, your bunnies are not the only ones that can Zoomy and Binky. There's some videos of Cinnabon and I doing Binkies together and I get so many comments that are like, oh my God, how did you teach her to Binky with you? I didn't, I just Binky along with her. If you can start to track when your bunny is really active for me, that's around 10 p.m. for Cinnabon, she just gets a big case of the Zoomies and goes, bonkers, you can get riled up as well and that riles up your bunny and together you guys can like have zoomies and binkies and it is quite literally the most precious thing in the world. Yes, you feel a little silly just like hopping around with your bunny, but there is nothing cuter than you hopping and then your bunny seeing you hop and wanna hop as well. So my last activity to do with your bunny is to take them outside. So rabbits are indoor pets. They have very sensitive skin and they're really sensitive to temperature. So having a bunny living outdoors is not the best conditions for them. On top of that, there's a lot of predators that live outside like coyotes, foxes, hawks. So bunnies should be living indoors. However, the sunshine is really good for your bunny. I know for myself, I always am like, oh, I don't have seasonal depression, no way. And then the sun hits in spring and I'm like, I have never been happier. I am coming out of a cocoon of darkness and depression and entering into a state of joy and euphoria. Bunnies can feel that way too. Take them outside for a little bit of vitamin D. If you have a bunny that's harness trained, you can put their little harness on and just let them hop around in your backyard. If you want tips on how to harness train your bunny, I have an IGTV video linked in the description that'll help you out. But if your bunny is uncomfortable with a harness, you can just take a little pop-up playpen. I'll link my favorite one
one below out into your backyard and just let them get a little bit of that vitamin D. Let them soak up the air and let them experience a new environment. While bunnies are routine animals and don't like a lot of change, it is important to stimulate their brains and to stimulate their environment. So just taking them literally into your backyard can be a really great thing. So while rabbits don't necessarily go on walks like a dog would, they do need that time outside. And it is really important that you give them that time, that stimulation, and it's also good for you to get outdoors as well. So it's really a win-win. Okay, those are all of my tips for ways to hang out with your rabbit. If you have tips as well, leave comments below. There are so many ways, but I figure giving you five to start out with just to get that bond rolling and just to give you a few ideas of just what to do with your bun and ways that you can spice up your relationship with them. And just remember, bunnies are not dogs. Bunnies are not cats. They are bunnies. So it's important that you know what makes them happy so that you can have the strongest relationship with them that adapts to the way that they were bred and the way that they're born to be. I hope that you are having a wonderful Sunday and we will see you next week. Bye buns!